Hey, how's it going? My name is Heartbeat. Welcome back into this week's video and today with another fantastic episode of the Arctic Shack for you beautiful people. So, in this week's episode, we're going to have a chat about no fursuit equals no views. And how it's actually true to some extent, but at the same time it isn't. I mean, let's face it, look at the big furry YouTubers. Would you say a large majority of them have fursuits? Yes. Certainly yes. That doesn't mean you have to go out and buy a $2,000, $3,000 wearable carpet around just so you can get views and attention on YouTube. There have been plenty of examples on this platform that you don't actually need one to do for a YouTube. You really don't. But isn't it true? I mean, come on. I mean, look at all the other big furry YouTubers. They have fursuits and they have tons of views, right? Yeah, I guess that's true, but at the same time, not really. Because there are many, many examples that I can produce of how many furry YouTubers there are that actually do do YouTube and that it, they do not have any fursuit whatsoever and they still get a fair decent amount of views and attention. But then at the same time, if you are watching a furry YouTube video, which one would you prefer? Would you like watching me? Or this? And that's completely fine if you did decide to choose me over the human form because it is a lot more visually appealing if you are wearing a fursuit and doing for YouTube videos. It's very appealing towards the audience because, well, fursuits are cute. Fursuits are something that a lot of people enjoy within this fandom. So, obviously, if someone's making a YouTube video with a fursuit on, obviously that's going to get a lot of traction and attention. And yet again, you might be thinking, oh, here we go, another bloke talking about, oh, you don't need a fursuit to be a furry. Oh, you don't need this and that. Well, no I'm not, because really I'm talking about YouTube as itself, not as such being a furry. And there is there much you can really do about it? Not entirely. I mean, of course you can just go along and do the normal route if you wish, or you can buy a fursuit and do that. Either way, it's completely fine. And does the whole stereotypical sort of thing that you need a fursuit to get views thing suck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it actually really does. And the reason why it sucks so much is because, even for myself, not just for other content creators, but for me myself, I do wish to do stuff out of suit, but at the same time, I think to myself, is it really going to get a lot of attention because I'm not wearing a fursuit? Is it really worth my time to do something that I put a lot of hard effort into it to then look at the re results and it's barely anything? And also, yeah, it does, it does suck. It really does suck. And... Again, there's not much we can really do about it because everyone has preferences and everyone has opinions. And please, please, for the love of God, please, do not deliberately buy a fursuit just so you can get attention and views. If you gotta buy a fursuit just so you can get attention and views on YouTube, why? Why do you need to do that? I mean, Yes, of course, the fursuit probably does have to look nice and appealing so people can actually watch the video and whatnot. But still, I mean, the content itself still has to be decent in whatever you're doing. Skits, Q&As, whatever. It's, the content still has to be good and the content still has to be, well, watchable. If it isn't and you're just getting views and attention based off a cute suit or a very, very popular fursuit maker, <sighs> What? Why? I don't. I don't get it. And also, you're just gonna be a bit more energetic with your sort of content. You know, be more surprising. Be unexpected. Do something that your audience will look at and think, "Damn, I didn't actually expect that. I haven't seen that before." I thought that was actually that was pretty cool. And yeah, I know I've said this time and time again about being different on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure you guys are getting sick and tired of it by now. But the statement is still very, very true till this day. And just because you're walking around with one of these doesn't automatically mean that you've got to get all the attention. you still got to work hard for your viewers and you still got to work hard to grow an audience. So please, just work hard and trust me, you will get just as famous as anybody on this platform. And yeah, I know there is a lot of people that are on this platform that actually do prefer seeing me other than a fursuit generally because it's just their preference. Not everybody loves a cute, fluffy little fursuit like this. Some people do actually just like people talking face to face. If I showed my face. <coughs> that's, that's beside the point. The point is that everybody has their opinions and everybody has their preferences to what they want to watch. 
Some people like enjoying watching fursuit content, by all means. Some people like watching furry YouTubers that don't have a fursuit, sure, why not? That's why I like to sort of switch it up a little bit on this channel, and not just this guy running the show all the time, it's a little bit of me as well. And all my other little insane characters that I have trapped in my head. The biggie furry YouTubers, yes, they do have a fursuit, and they do have a lot of views and a lot of subscribers. But that doesn't mean you have to follow in their steps, you can actually do whatever you want. It is your YouTube channel by the way, so I can't control it, and neither can anybody else. It's your channel, do whatever, do whatever the heck you want with it. And that wraps up for today's video, thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later mate.